treated a little differently here than you do when you walk in one of your other and, bookstores. And I have to say some customers like that, most of them do, but some don't and just want to be left alone. So we leave you that, know, we those do alone, <laughs> but, but most people enjoy being engaged. Hello, I'm Joel Tomlin, uh, owners of, uh, my wife and I are owners of Landmark Booksellers here in downtown, historic downtown Franklin, Tennessee. And I am Carol Tomlin, another owner of Landmark Booksellers. Um, this Franklin, of course, was established in 1799. There were only three lots sold in the town plan in 1799. This building sits on one of those three lots. They now believe the building was built between 1806 and 1808. That makes it about 213 years old. It's the oldest non-residential building still standing. It is known as the old factory store. There was a factory that used to be right on the river where our current bridge crosses. And it was a water powered uh, plant. They took in grain and, and ground it. They took in cotton, ginned it, put it on looms of material. That factory opened up in 1825 and this was their store where they sold the goods. Uh, by 1828, three years after they opened, they produced more uh, cotton products than anywhere else in the state of Tennessee. So it was a significant operation. Uh, it remained the factory store through um, the beginning of the Civil War. Now, prior to that, we believe it was a bank in 1816 because it's been said that Jackson's troops were paid out of this room on the way back from New Orleans. Uh, important early figures such as David Crockett, Sam Houston, Andrew Jackson, James K. Polk, all those people would have been in this building. When this building was built in 1806 to 1808, our courthouse was still in a log cabin in the center of the square. So very significant building. The pillars out fronted as a Greek Revival front. Those pillars are made of solid poplar tree trunks. So very important early, possibly one of the earliest examples of Greek Revival architecture in Middle Tennessee. And since, since the Civil War, it's been shops, it's been restaurants, it's been um, uh, banks. From the mid-50s to the late 70s, it was Dotson's Restaurant, which was probably the favorite restaurant here in Franklin for those who were here at the time during that period. Uh, that lot fried of folk, chicken. A lot of folks <laughs> ate fried chicken and chocolate pie right here where we now sit. Carol and I uh, were married going on 28 years ago and uh, we have a blended family. I had five children, she had two. Uh, their ages were six to 16. And uh, Carol was in education, I was in real estate. And we said when we got married, when the youngest one got out of high school, we were gonna find something that we could do together. And lo and behold, 16 years ago, uh, when the youngest one was about to graduate, I was in a bookshop in Nashville that I had been a customer of for years called Dad's Old Bookstore. And Mr. Penny, who owned it, said, we are, uh, I'm 80 years old, my lease is coming up, I'm ready to retire. So Carol and I put our heads together and we decided to buy his collection of books. He dealt in antiquarian and rare books. And then we came down, to, we decided we wanted to be in Franklin. We had both lived here before. And uh, so we came down and found this building was available and purchased it. And here we are. I've always been an avid reader. Um, my mother was a librarian. I was a teacher. And then we also have 11 grandchildren with one on the way. 
So I just love books and especially children's books, which I'll show you later. But it just seemed like a natural fit. If we were gonna have a store, then why shouldn't it be a bookstore? <laughs> Welcome to my favorite room in the, <laughs> in the whole bookstore, and that's the children's room. I think I might have mentioned before, I have 11 grandchildren with one on the way. <laughs> and plus, my mother was a librarian and I was a teacher for over 30 years. So children's books are just wonderful to me. They, this room is like my respite. Sometimes I just come in here and just sit and meditate because to me, it's just so peaceful. But um, the importance of parents reading to their children, I just cannot stress enough. I tell all my children and I tell any um, young parent that comes into the bookstore, please start reading to your children when they're babies. I'm talking about infants. Be in that rocking chair in their nursery reading to them because it is absolutely so important. If your, if your children learn to love to read, they will love to write. There is nothing that they can't do if they learn to read. And it just couldn't be any more important. We did a number of events starting out and that uh, provided some wonderful opportunities for for the local residents and they were attended quite well. And uh, we had poetry groups. We started the Civil War Roundtable here. Uh, we had different author groups, book signings, uh, and continue to do that. We specialize in Southern Americana. And so if you think about Southern Americana and you, you look around our bookstore, we have books on everything. But we also have a, every local writer usually has their book here. So um, the residents know they can come here and get those books. You know, Carol and I both love reading and, and we have certain authors here. Again, my passion is generally in the area of Southern. Uh, Southern literature, Southern history, Southern culture, and, and, and I read quite a bit in those areas. We have on the wall here 22 of the more important Southern authors, uh, and we have a contest here. If you can come in and name those 22 <laughs> authors, we give you a free book. We carefully curate our books and try and carry primarily classics books that you should read if you haven't read them. For instance, we're deep in things like C.S. Lewis, uh, Tolkien, uh, all of your more important Southern, I mean, not only Southern, but American writers, Hemingway, F. Scott Fitzgerald. We have editions here that you can't find in other places. In addition to that, we have over 1,000 signed editions from everyone from one of our new neighbors, Kathy Lee Gifford, to Winston Churchill, and everything in between. Karen Kingsbury moved here about um, 10, 11 years ago, and uh, she had just changed publishers, and her editor brought her in our bookstore one morning, and she spent some time with us, talking with us, going through our bookstore. And her editor called us about five months later, or her publisher actually, and he said, Karen's next book is set in your bookstore and you and your wife are two of the main characters in the story. Um, and since that time, shortly thereafter, they turned it into a Hallmark movie. Uh, Ted McGinley played my part and uh, Faith Ford played Carol's part. We, the movie was made in Canada, but we had the world premiere here in Franklin. And uh, it has been, Karen has been, and her books have been an enormous blessing to us. Uh, can I say yeah. something now? Um, every day somebody comes in, wants our autograph, 
or wants to take a picture with the bridge right here, which is what the book was called. And my children, especially my daughter in Nashville will say, why in the world would they want your picture or your autograph? And I'll say, obviously you're not a Karen Kingsbury fan, but she has them all over the world and all over the United States. So. Karen uh, has, has, um, has such a wonderful following of people. It's a real blessing and oh. pleasure to meet them when they come to our store. Uh, and we've had Karen here on several events. And a year ago, in the midst of our, our being closed for the pandemic, uh, Karen, we were supposed to have had Karen here for an event. Her publisher canceled that event. And she called and said, I know you guys are struggling, which we were. I mean, I don't know what would have happened. But she called us and said, let's offer my next book through your website and uh, a signed copy, pre-order. And she said, I will promote that on my social media, which she did. And we sold 10,000 books in about 10 days, which she saved is, us. She is our so guardian she's angel. She's our guardian angel. Truly. She without a doubt is. And now you can get any of her books as they come out. We offer them through our website signed editions that you can pre-order, so. I wanna say one other thing about Karen Kingsbury though. Um, we've had several events with her and I know why her, um, her readers love her so much. When they, come, when they <coughs> go up and want her signature, she will stop and talk to them no matter how long the line, she'll pray with them. I mean, she is truly the real deal. She really practices what she writes about. She is, she's an amazing person. You know, my family, my, my father's parents, uh, my grandparents um, moved to Nashville and raised my dad and his siblings, and I was raised in Nashville, but I moved back down here in 75 and my ancestors arrived here in 1802. Uh, Franklin has changed a lot since 1975, since I've been here. But it, they've been very careful to uh, keep the charm, the historic feel, especially in the downtown area and throughout the county. Uh, they have worked hard to make this a place uh, where uh, you feel part of a community. The people are friendly, as Carol mentioned before. Uh, we hear over and over again from people who are moving here or coming here, how nice everyone is. You know, I hear that sometimes and I think, well, I don't know where you came from, but <laughs> why are people not nice where you came from? This is the way we live here. <laughs> and uh, so it, they've, they've been able to maintain that small town charm in the midst of our growing. And also the way the um, <clears throat> historic Absolutely. society um, has saved buildings. Absolutely. And, and, the uh, Heritage Foundation, I'm sorry. Absolutely. To... So we are very blessed and very fortunate to live here. Of course, our public education is the best in the state. Uh, and and we're, our proximity to Nashville, it's kind of like uh, we have all the benefits of Nashville 20 minutes down the road, mm -hmm. so. I love its charm. I mean, you hear charm about cities, but it really is. I mean, it's like, um, I mean, it's clean. It's safe. You feel comfortable walking around. Uh, the people are polite and nice. And that's true. I lived, I've lived in the South my whole life, so I'm pretty accustomed to that. But. They really are nice here in Franklin. You know, they'll greet you hello and that sort of thing. So that's what I like about it. You're my own hometown staycation. America's Main Street destination. A balloon right in the sky. Historic daytime strolls that move me deep inside my soul. Yeah, the lovely Franklin. Yeah, 
Love.